I love this. Data. Data. Damaged spider butt leg. The leg piece of a damaged spider butt recovered from the tone site. What the hell? This is it. The signal is coming from this spider butt fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. I'm amazed this hunk of junk is even operating. What's it doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. looking to automate our jobs, mate. This is no joke. Director Cass? You, you're serious? Who told you that? Friend over in R&D. The shit he's told me about. About background checks and knowing who's going to be useful to Albion, who's going to be a problem. You that worried about your job? This is a PMC. They already do background checks on all of us. Oh, you don't get it. He was talking about the general population, not just us employees. How bad is it that everyone has to be watched that closely? Perfect. Two more data relays to go.
Hang on. I'm taking... <laughs> Well here. What's next? Data relay, and I'll have it. <laughs> that should do it. Now I'll just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and. Back to where you found that spider box, and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Got it.
CT Lopez, AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back to you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Kelly dog. Clan Kelly. Those dirty mobsters did the bombings. Looks like a delivery. The Kellys were probably just the supplier. What are the odds that this is a member of Zero Day? They certainly aren't with the Kellys. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you identify who was operating the Spider-Bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the Spider-Bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Typical. The dirty fed witnessed all of this go down and said nothing. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Great. Bags, fire up the quantum duffer. Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Solid idea. Aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Got it. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. It's zero days signature. There, hurry. Data. Tone conference pass. David Lep. That's what delivered. I'm looking for. So you were hired to fire all the targets. Just here. We're all on need to know. My goodness. Zero Day must have pulled some strings to get multiple groups to commit the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction, but if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more.
Tracing the Spinerbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Seems like the police were on the trail of the real bombers, but wanted to keep it hush-hush and let DedSec hang for it. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. If you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. If there's one thing that should never be privatized, it's the police force. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. Have we found our Spider-Bot, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spider-Bot from the Tone bombing site. Question is, who last used the thing? Navigate the Spider-Bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Of course. Easy peasy.
That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all.
every fuck would you look at all this junk? You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening. There, make your way through this last bent path. Data Damaged Spider Bit. This Spider Bit serial number is registered with the Metropolitan Police Force. Cues. Got it! Scanning Spyderbot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. All right. you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. The scavenger hunt continues. Let's get a move on. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Thank you. 
Hey, check this shit out. It's the fucking Batcave down here, but for like cops or whatever. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. So how'd they end up sniffing around the tone mum? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Wait, so Albion's in with Clan Kelly? Man, fuck the feds. I've been saying that forever. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Snatching people off the streets? Bro, that's so fucked up. You know what, let's do something about it. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. 